Hello. Welcome to Daily Devotions. This month we start a new series. Knowing God better. Today we learn what it means when God is our help. When God becomes Jehovah Ezra to us. And how that helps us to overcome adversities. Let us pray. Heavenly Father. You are in the midst of your people. Therefore we shall not be moved. You will help us when the morning dawns. Therefore when the storms rise. And the darkness engulfs us. Our hearts are not troubled. For you shall extend your right hand to hold us. And you shall be our light. It is you, and you alone we look up to. For the arm of flesh shall fail us. The horse and the chariot shall disappoint us. But you, O oh, Lord are always near at hand. Always near, and nearest when you are most needed. Thank you for being our helper. In Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Before we continue, I have a favor to ask of you. If you have not already subscribed, please support our work by doing so, and share the video with family and friends. Thank you. The Hebrew phrase Jehovah Ezra is translated as the Lord my help or the Lord our help. Solomon says. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and is safe, Proverbs 18.10. It is important as Christians to know God personally. When we know him personally, we trust him more. When we know God as Jehovah Ezra, the Lord our help. Then we have the confidence to say with the psalmist. May the Lord answer you in the day of trouble. May the name of the God of Jacob set you securely on high, Psalm 21. At times in our lives we need a refuge. The storm is blowing and the battle is raging. And we have to run somewhere to hide. God hides us so that he can help us. Then we can return to the battle and face the storm. The writer of Hebrews says. So we can confidently say. The Lord is my helper, I will not fear, what can man do to me? Hebrews 13 6. Do you know it requires some level of humility. For us to admit we need God's help. We have been made to believe that. You need security systems, guard dogs, a gun to keep you safe in your house. Bible says, unless the Lord watches over the city, the guards stand watch in vain, Psalm 127 1. It takes humility to accept the fact that, in my own strength, I cannot handle this situation or this circumstance, or this affliction or this trial, and call on God for help. It is not therefore surprising that God is always the last resort for many of us. After we have exhausted all known avenues available to us. God is our help. Knowing this truth should equip you to stand fast. When the storms of life come and you need his help. Abraham knew God as Jehovah Ezra. When he needed help, God came to his aid. The other was named Eliezer, for he said. The God of my father was my help. And delivered me from the sword of Pharaoh, Exodus 18.4. Have you known God as Jehovah Ezra? Have you had some Eliezer moments in your life? Moments when all had failed and you wanted to give up. But God showed himself strong on your behalf and came through for you. God will always come through for us. He is faithful, he will never fail. I have learned that when I humble myself before God, and cry to God when everything around me is falling apart, my trial does not automatically vanish. But I begin to view the adverse circumstance from a supernatural perspective. Job understood this truth, and so he says, My ears had heard of you, but now my eyes have seen you. Therefore I retract my words, and I repent in dust and ashes, Job 42 5-6.
God did not take away the challenges Job was going through. But he used the very trials to teach Job to know him in a more personal, intimate, and experiential way. That is why we hear Job say. But he knows the way that I take. When he has tried me, I shall come out as gold, Job 23:10. When we humble ourselves and ask God for help, we come to not only know his name and acts of old, but we become like Moses, and come to know his ways. As we experience the movement of his power in our lives, the psalmist says, he made known his ways to Moses, his acts to the people of Israel, Psalm 103 7. When Moses and the children of Israel were stuck between the sea and the armies of Egypt, God made known his ways. He created a way where there seems to be no way. What situation are you in right now? For I am the Lord, I do not change. Therefore you are not consumed, O sons of Jacob, Malachi 3 6. The sad truth is that most of us only rejoice at the provisions of God. We are only interested in getting God to solve our problems. Of course, God is pleased to provide for us. But we need to move beyond that. We need know His presence in our lives. Let us begin to ask God to show us His ways. Let us pray that God let us know Him more. Moses looked beyond God's provisions in the wilderness. We read in Exodus 33 13-14. Now if indeed I have found favor in your sight. Please let me know your ways. That I may know you and find favor in your sight. Remember that this nation is your people. And the Lord answered, My presence will go with you, and I will give you rest. Exodus 33 13-14 Have you come to know God more personally? As Jehovah Ezra, the Lord my helper. God says, My presence will go with you, and I will give you rest. Is the presence of God always with you? Knowing that God is always with you. Changes the way you look at the challenges you meet every day. For you know the ways of God. And you know after he has led you through this challenge. You shall come forth as gold. Knowing the ways of God takes away fear and anxiety. It is only those who know the ways of God who can confidently say. Do not be anxious about anything. But in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus, Philippians 4 6-7. David knew the ways of God, and so he could say in Psalm 33 20. Our soul waits for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. For our heart is glad in him, because we trust in his holy name. When we don't know God as our help, we tend to fret and take things into our own hands. Sarah failed to see God as her help in her time of barrenness. And so she tried to hasten the promise of God to Abraham by offering her servant, Hagar. Knowing that God is our help will cause our hearts to be at peace. And we learn to wait for him. But they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary, they shall walk and not faint, Isaiah 40 31. Let us pray. Our Lord God. You are our help and our shield. Our help in labor, our shield in danger. You answer all things to your people. You are our refuge and strength. A very present help in trouble. Having this assurance from you takes care of all of our fears and problems. You are our refuge, you hide us. You are our strength, you help us. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen.